In this video we will be looking at the new trailer from Sony called Madame Web and my three reasons why you should be paying attention to this movie. Simply put, we are at a crossroads with the woke agenda and all these race swapping, gender swapping movies that recently, let's face it, they haven't been profitable for Hollywood. And if you don't believe me, just look at what we recently saw with the Marvels. So why would the general audience be interested in this movie, you ask? Well, reason number one would be that it's Sony. And there's a difference between Sony and Disney Marvel. And for those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, I'll explain a little bit here. Sony has the rights to the Spider-Man universe and side stories that encompass Spider-Man. Whereas Disney pretty much has everything else. They have the Avengers, they have X-Men, the Fantastic Four, etc, etc. And where Disney decided to go fully woke, but for the most part, Sony knows what they're doing and knows how to give the audience a good time. A good story, good characters, and good special effects. And most of the time people are entertained by everything that Sony does. Now reason number two why you should be paying attention to this movie is because it looks like an origin story. Madame Web first appeared in the comics in the 1980s and then in the animated cartoons in 1990s and usually she's portrayed as an elderly woman. Not to say that she's also blind and in a wheelchair, but her main powers are visions of the future. So it will be interesting to see how they adapt this character for modern day audiences. Which brings me to my third reason why you should be paying attention to this movie. Not only are we going to see an origin story for Madame Webb, but for the rest of the cast as well. This movie seems to be setting up its own multiverse. And from what we can see in this trailer, Madame Webb tries to save these other girls. And in several flash scenes, we see them wearing like Spider-Man costumes and gear. So I can only deduct that this movie is setting up a multitude of characters that will eventually cross over into the Spider-Verse, if that makes any sense. But that's just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.